Good evening, friends. Happy Wednesday to all of you. So, friends, I've got great news today. More stimulus relief money will be going out to low income, Social Security, SSDI, and SSI beneficiaries. A brand new bill has also just been approved that will fund new relief programs for millions of Americans. Up to $20,000 in stimulus money can be claimed right now. My dear friends, please make sure you watch until the end of this video for all of these new details. Also know that I'll be giving away a $75 Walmart gift card four days a week. If you would like to enter the next giveaway, simply click and like several of my videos and then comment below the keyword of each video that you watch. The more videos that you comment on, the greater your chance of winning the $75 Walmart gift card giveaway. Today, we received news that our economy had 0% inflation in the month of July. 0%. Here's what that means. Well, the price of some things go up, went up last month. The price of other things went down by the same amount. The result, zero inflation last month. But people are still hurting. But zero inflation last month. The economists look at a measure of inflation that ignores food and energy <coughs> prices, and they call it core inflation. That's about the lowest amount in several years, several months. When you couple that with last week's booming jobs report of 528,000 jobs created last month and 3.5 percent unemployment, it underscores the kind of economy we've been building. We're seeing a stronger labor market where jobs are booming and Americans are working, and we're seeing some signs that inflation may be getting to moderate. That's what happens when you build an economy from the bottom up and the middle out. The wealthy do very well and everyone has a chance. It gives everyone a chance to make progress. Now I want to be clear, with the global challenges we face from the war in Europe to disruption of supply chains and pandemic shutdowns uh, in Asia, we, uh, we could face additional headwinds in the months ahead. Our work is far from over, but two things should be clear. First, the economic plan is working, and second, is building an economy that will reward work. Wages are up this month, provide opportunity, help the middle class, and still have- So friends, I have some great news for seniors that live in the state of New York. Older New York homeowners could be in line for expanded tax relief in the state under legislation that was just approved by Governor Kathy Hochul. The measure will allow local governments to increase a maximum allowable income eligible for a property tax exemption to $50,000 for individuals who are 65 and older as well as people with disabilities. The measure will increase the current limit set at $29,000 a year for older New Yorkers who reside outside of New York City. The new law is part of a legislative package meant to strengthen home ownership and affordability in the state. Governor Kathy Hochul said, I am proud to sign these bills to put money back in the pockets of New York homeowners and help seniors and families stay in their homes. With inflation and rising costs, putting a strain on families nationwide. This legislation will help to ensure that New Yorkers, from seniors to first-time home buyers, get some much-needed relief. Another measure approved by Governor Hochul will extend the option for municipal governments to provide a property tax exemption for first-time home buyers who are purchasing newly constructed homes through the year 2028 extending a provision that was set to expire by the end of this year. Governor Hochul approved a law that will strengthen benefits with a timeline designed to be more flexible for older homeowners who are in desperate need of making emergency repairs. Governor Hochul also announced more than $64 million in federal funding to help struggling New Yorkers with children with their expenses amid the ongoing crisis. The emergency fund will provide one-time payments to help with the cost of diapers for struggling families, cover food expenses for households with both children and older adults, and also provide housing assistance. The state of New York will issue one-time payments to all families enrolled in SNAP that have a child under the age of three years old. Families will receive $140 per eligible child to assist with the cost of diapers, with the funding anticipated 
help roughly 128,000 500 New York households. Friends, the key word for this video is Hudson River. If you would like to enter the next Walmart gift card giveaway, please click and like several of my videos and then comment below this keyword, which is Hudson River and additional keywords of any video of mine that you watch. And do make sure, friends, that you are subscribed to my channel. The more videos that you comment on with the keyword, the greater your chance of winning the giveaway. President Biden's approval rating rose to its highest level in two months in a newly released poll. Biden's approval rating rose to 40 percent, up two percentage points, while his disapproval rating fell to 55 percent. The increase is partially fueled by more Democrats approving of President Biden's job performance. The poll also showed that Biden's approval among Democrats rose nine points from last month to 78 percent. Only 12 percent of Republicans approved of Biden's performance. According to the poll, Biden's approval rating hit the lowest point in May at 36 percent, and it has remained below 50 percent since August 2021. The U.S. president's improved performance in the poll comes as he has attained a series of legislative and other successes. President Biden successfully pushed for Congress to pass the CHIPS and Science Act to provide billions of dollars to the domestic semiconductor industry. The Senate also passed the Inflation Reduction Act on Sunday after Senate Majority Leader Chuck Schumer and Senate Democrat Joe Manchin had reached a climate deal, health care, and tax package, and the House plans to take up the bill this week. Democrats are seeking to avoid or minimize the historical trend that a new president's party loses seats in Congress in the midterm elections. Lawmakers in the part have expressed hope that the administration and party successes could improve their prospects this November. So friends, what are your thoughts on President Biden's new approval ratings. Please let me know if you agree or disagree. Well, my amazing and beautiful friends, that is the end of my daily stimulus update video. Thank you once again for joining me here today. I greatly appreciate all of you who are watching or listening to my videos. The winner of yesterday's Walmart gift card giveaway is Larry Beal. Congratulations, my friend. To claim your gift card, please check your notifications page and send me an email. Or you can also send me a message on my Facebook page. Thank you, dear friends, and have a wonderful and blessed evening.